in Photoshop can be applied as is. Now I've just got to go to the gradient tool and gradient palette. Now you could of course apply the gradient just as it is there but you might say I want to change that gradient. So you can change that just by going now just selecting the gradient you want to change click that just click the actual gradient there just quickly show you again just click it just simple as that and it will come up with the gradient editor now gradient editor offers selection of options like the stops the color stops there's the colors you see which you can drag just going to drag those along now there's two there or three actually three over there you can drag those along move them obviously create a slightly different gradient so i'm just going to quickly show you the effect of that so you can see more red click on there of course you can also select the gradient stop just drag it off and that's it just drag it and that will remove the gradient now you have to have two gradients gradient stops there's two obviously or more so you could have like 10 20 gradients gradient stops so you can just drag that along again now you've got a midpoint here you can make it obviously the red a lot less so you have more of the the purple so i'll just go out of there now just get undo that just apply that so you just see very little of the red just click that again and I just can modify that now you can also i said add so you just basically go to the, the position you want to add the stop so you can just click there that will take the color there so you can just click on the actual stop so like it go blue click over there and so now i've got three stops because i can go and stick click another one maybe white so i can change the color there and i can now go click ok there and apply the gradient there so i'm just going to click on there again and i can just say new and that will add the current gradient there into the palette now of course i have to save at this point i can say save but i'm not, not going to do that here right also there's another option there's a noise option which gives it offers a number of selections of color models as well as which creates very unusual gradients so you can do lab mode restrict color randomize you can go through a whole range of different color options click ok and that will apply there right so that's a basic step of changing the gradient from using color stops so you don't have to go with the current the colors you've actually got so you can say change that at any point and of course you can go back to the original design if you wish